Hi everyone. I hope you're doing well. A big aloha from Hawaii. Um, today is actually the 5th of May, Cinco de Mayo, and I just thought I would record a video about a completely different topic from Cinco de Mayo. The topic is meditation. And I thought I will, um, I've been thinking about talking about meditation or writing some blogs, but, uh, and I did write a couple of blogs, but I just thought I would talk about one aspect of meditation. There are many uh, blogs or topics that could be covered, but this is one aspect which is about connecting the inner and outer worlds. So I just wanted to talk about that. Um, do you know the meaning of yoga? And I, I know this is a pretty uh, popular question at this point. Um, a lot of people are discussing these topics. So what is the meaning of yoga? Yoga means the word itself is um, union or connection, connecting two things, connection or addition. Addition is called yoga actually. Um, so um, it's the union and the connection can be in many different directions or dimensions, right? So it could be between uh, the physical self and the spiritual self physical body and the spiritual realm could be between the mind and body so when you do the asana yoga exercises asana and pranayama it's connecting the mind and body um, it's also um, about the inner and outer world so it's primarily the same thing so meditation is what connects our inner and outer worlds so that's the beauty of meditation and I've been practicing meditation for some time, uh, since childhood actually, but uh, anyway, um, so I just wanted to talk about how yoga and meditation connects our inner and outer worlds. So um, when we close our eyes, we start focusing inwards and focus on our breath. And gradually, we go from the external outside world to inner. Um, and there are so many techniques of meditation. And there are many more coming up all the time because there are a lot of uh, spiritual leaders who would come up with their own techniques or make some variation and uh, bring their own meditation technique. So, but primarily it is all about going deeper within and gradually from the outer world we go deeper into our inner worlds when we meditate so that's the objective when we meditate um, it does not mean that we have to forcibly focus our minds it does not mean that we have to forcibly concentrate rather it should go naturally it should be a natural process. Our thoughts, different thoughts will come and go, but you have to start not getting attached to the thoughts and letting them go. Um, so that's also a way of bridging the inner and outer worlds as most of the thoughts are actually related to the exterior, related to the outer world. So when you let the thoughts go, you are letting go of the outer world and focusing on the inner. Um, if you if you attach yourself to the thoughts, then you will gradually go outside, right? It will become more like a daydreaming rather than meditation. And so that's the outside world. And when you start focusing on your breath and look inwards, that's when the core of meditation starts. So uh, one thing that you'll find common across all the different techniques is focusing on the breath. 
and this is very important because why do everybody uh, all these spiritual leaders all these old scriptures talk about focusing on your breath there are many reasons one of them is that first of all it gives the mind something to focus on right so when thoughts come and go uh, you can come back to your breath you can focus on the breath and that will help you it's just a scientific technique the breath is something which has a regular pattern and it goes on non stop it does not stop right so the breath goes on and it has a rhythmic pattern and you can focus on it um another reason is um is that it connects the the breath connects the human body to the rest of the universe right like a fish lives in the water we live in this ocean of air so the fish lives in the water and we live in uh, air so different types of oceans of water and air if we stop the supply of oxygen and we go to outer space we'll die so that creates a connection between our physical body and the exterior right the inner and external words so our physical existence is dependent on the external world through breath so breath is the connection so um anyway that's another reason and that's another way to think about how the external and internal worlds connect and that is yoga so in meditation is another is a core of yoga um anyway enough for today i think this is uh, a topic which can kind of be written in volumes of books or lifetime one lifetime is not enough but just a thought i wanted to share uh to end i would quote one of the greatest philosophers poets and the writer a spiritual thinker the world has ever produced which is um, Rabindranath Tagore from uh, the 18th century in Bengal he was born in 1861 i think um uh, which is the 19th century so 1861 um and he got the nobel prize for literature i believe in the early 1900s 1906 or something and um he was also the first uh non european to receive a nobel prize first non white non european to receive a nobel prize on uh, literature so anyway um so that in connection with this topic so he had a very famous song which he wrote a poem which which is a song and rabindra sangeet it's called called chokher alwe dekhe chilen chokher baire antare aaj dekhbo jokhon alok nahire so which means very loosely i mean you cannot translate directly from bengali to uh, english and especially with the essence of the time and the space and the region and language and all that barriers so but it kind of means with the uh power of my eyes or the light from my eyes or the light of my eyes i could see the external world and today when there is no light outside if there's you're not looking outside if you close your eyes or if there's darkness everywhere then you can focus on the inner and he's saying that he will focus on the inner world with the same power when the external is dark anyway thank you very much namaste have a good rest of your day enjoy